this time, all these years, and never once have I disobeyed you. And in all that time, you've never even given me so much as a goat so that I could have a feast with my friends. My younger brother comes back, having spent all your money on harlots. And for him, you kill the fatted calf. Please, said the father. Please, try to understand. You are always with me. Everything I have is yours. But it is right to celebrate. Your brother was dead. And he's alive again. He was lost. And is found. Forgive me, Master. I'm... <laughs> Just a stupid man. Is it just a matter of my violating the marriage vows? Is that it? Because I've a mind to repent that, John? Hmm? Will that satisfy you? Do you think it makes me Happy to see you rotting away in the dark down there with that howling gang outside the bar. <laughs> Why don't you listen to reason? There's work for you here in this wretched kingdom. If it's power you want, you can have power. Power to build, not to break. My task has been to prepare the way for the one who shall wear the crown. Who is this man, this prophet from Galilee? Is he the one I ought to be talking to? Do not fear the toppling of your throne. Before kingdoms change, men must change. 
Ah, you say that, yes. But I've been listening to those fools outside. What leaders intend and what their followers are after are not one and the same thing. That crowd of yours needs someone to control it. John, if I set you free, what would you do with your freedom? I would follow the one whose way I have prepared, just like many others who already follow him. But you will not set me free. of God is upon us. Release John. Yeah, send him away, send him away. Send him to Egypt, you're right. What harm can he do us there? After all. Yes? Tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, on your birthday. What better present could you give to yourself and your people? A great gesture of clemency. <laughs> Once he was free and had gone to Egypt, he just might meet with us some unfortunate accident. <laughs> <laughs> what an imagination, my thing. How fast your thoughts travel. <laughs> imagination? <laughs> You know I can always read your mind. Don't forget, I can read your mind too, my lord. <laughs> Harold. Mm -hmm. What present shall I give you on your birthday? <laughs> what do you think I would like most? <laughs> Salome? <laughs> You see, I can read your mind. 